What up, nation? Good to have you guys back for this video. We are speed testing the Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband Network. I'm just checking on some things. I'm uh, doing some millimeter wave testing, some C-band testing. I haven't done this in a while. This particular area is uh, pretty high traffic. It's got um, it's got some apartments, got some offices, got a hotel, a couple of hotels. But uh, I'm just checking on things, right? Uh, sometimes you know you get these updates to the tower gear and, and whatnot, the radio access networking side of things. And you wanna just see how things are going. So my market's a Samsung market. You know, there's been some power upgrades uh, to some firmware updates and, and such. So and the 77's improved for range or performance. You never know what's going on with millimeter wave. So we're kind of testing it all. Uh, first speed test, 1.4 gigs down, uh, 116 for the uplink. Ping times at like 24 milliseconds, jitters at one. Loaded latencies at like 320 and 130 respectively. Let's go ahead and run another test and then we're gonna take a look at some band configurations. We'll see if we're connected to the millimeter wave or if we're connected to the C-band. You guys can go ahead and make a guess uh, which one it is. <laughs> but uh, we're in we're in line of sight of all the radio gear. We're, we're kind of testing, you know, peak, uh, peak speeds and stuff. So uh, band 13 LT anchor. Let's see what else we got here. N77, 100 megahertz. Another N77 for 40 megahertz. Band 66 for 20 megahertz. And that's it. And that really is phenomenal performance. 1.485 gigs down. 1,485 megabits per second down. 121 up. Really, really nice performance there from the C-band piece. Uh, you know, I haven't really seen this performance from these sites here in Cleveland often. I, I have seen gigabit speed, but I think with that power improvement, those improved, you know, power levels, I think we're seeing improved performance too. All right, here's another 1.3 gigs down and like 117 for uplink. That's pretty good stuff here. I almost thought I was on millimeter wave for a moment, just didn't think I was maybe line of sight. Uh, but that's great stuff there, guys. Really, really good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and flash airplane mode. And we're going to see if maybe we can lock in to uh, millimeter wave because it's here too. All right, let's check it out. Waiting for that 5G plus icon. Go ahead and run it. Let's see if a modem reset kind of helps that situation. I mean, we might, we might just default to the C-band. I don't know. Still in the C band. Yeah. Not picking up the millimeter wave. Hmm. I guess I could always go in there and lock the band, right? All right, so let me show you guys how to do that. Star pound, 2263 pound. That puts us into this band selection. And when you pick the band selection, you go here, you're gonna go to NR 5G. And I think what we're gonna do is we're going to disable C band. I know crazy, right? Uh, we'll we'll disable the NSA form, the SA form just in case. And we'll leave the millimeter wave stuff on. Alright, we'll apply the band configuration. And we still got it. Okay, that's great. Okay, let's get this thing running. Ooh, what is happening here? All right, let's check the bands here. So pound two zero one one pound. Okay, boom. All right, we see band five for LT ten megahertz. Band forty eight. Showing us CBRS. <laughs> All right, that's interesting. Clinging on to LTE. Not even connecting to the millimeter wave. What are we doing? And I can't, because I'm on an old legacy plan, I can't lock in SA. I'm stuck having to anchor LTE even on the millimeter wave. I don't even know what's going on here. Um, 
Maybe I put it up here, I don't know. What is happening? Come on. <laughs> All right, I think I'm picking it up now, maybe. Maybe. Let's zoom in. Yeah, let's see here. Yeah, N260. 100 megahertz. You get eight component carriers. Not really great speed, though. One gig down, 23 up. Really? Is that the best we could do here? It's not great. C band's better. Huh. Maybe we're better off just leaving stuff alone and just with <laughs> the C band. Just a more resilient connection. I gotta I gotta get a line that's given us access to the SA. That's gonna get us some improved performance, get a more stable connection for the 5G on our side. 1.1 gigs down, 23 megabits up. Oh my god, what is that? This is crazy. I mean it's not even it's not even a contest, right? My iPhone, focus. Focus, focus. Yeah, not great. Rolling with the C band today, folks. Mm, mm, mm. You guys seeing problems with 5G NSA millimeter wave C band? Uh, what, what have things been like there? Um, <laughs> I don't know, man. Let's see if I can get you guys some footage of the rooftop site. It's right up there. Right above there, the top of that office building, behind those lights, kind of blinding us. Try one more. My iPhone, focus. You guys love your iPhones, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We're going back on C-band. What do you guys think? Should I mess around with this millimeter wave? Should I just disable it? Should I just roll with the C-band? Uh not very inspiring performance here from Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband N260. The N77 was clearly the star of the show. Uh, better quality signal, better connection, better performance all the way around. I'm going to put the sucker back in N77. Who needs millimeter wave when you got one and a half gigs down and over 100 megabits uplink on N77, right? <laughs> Well, they, they should probably tend to this connection, see if they can make it better. Anyways, thanks for watching the video, guys. Comment, share with me your thoughts on what you just saw, your take on it. Go the voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard. Like, share, and subscribe for more, and come on back for more videos. In fact, watch this one here at the end. Check it out and consume more of our content. We appreciate you. Salute to you. We'll catch you guys on the next video.